It's Causeway Coast Radio. Thanks for your company this morning. Now, we're waiting to see what the Prime Minister has to say tomorrow. Uh, many of us hoping, of course, that he's going to relax some of the virus restrictions. But irrespective of what he says, it is going to be a lengthy process, I suspect, for many businesses, especially for those in hospitality and tourism. And joining me now is Trevor Kane of the Bayview Hotel in Port Ballantrae. Good morning, Trevor. Morning, Dennis. Uh, Trevor, there was some speculation just in the last week or so that uh, hospitality could well be the last area to benefit from restrictions being lifted. That's not the sort of news you want to hear. Of course, it's not the news we want to hear, Dallas, but we have to be sure that we have uh, strict uh, distancing between customers and staff, etc., before mm. we can uh, start business again. We obviously don't want this virus to come back into the area. And how many staff at the Bayview Hotel, including yourself, have been affected with this? Well, we have 36 staff furloughed at the moment, and obviously then coming to the summer months, we have another maybe 15 uh, part-time staff who come on board every year and have been with us faithfully over the past two or three years. And there are like students and uh, uh, young ones leaving, you know, going yes. to fifth and sixth year, yes. who we really depend on and who are a great asset to the, to the hotel as well. And is it possible, Trevor, in your view, is it possible that some businesses may struggle to recover from this? Dennis, I believe all businesses will struggle uh, to recover. Um, it's going to be a lengthy one. Um, I do believe that we'll survive, but this year is going to be really, really tough. Um, we're very fortunate here in Port Palantre because uh, our most of our business comes from uh, Northern Ireland, uh, probably about 60, 69% comes yeah. from Northern Ireland, yeah. and another maybe 15% from South of Ireland, and then the rest from the rest of the world. Um, so we're very fortunate in that aspect that we're, we get really good support from the local area as well, uh, especially uh, through the spring, right through the end of the summer again, yes. from uh, the tourists in the area, from local homeowners, from uh, people who have holiday homes from the Carval site especially, you know, so uh, we will really miss that trade this summer and it's going to be very difficult to uh, winter this winter. Mm -hmm. in, in terms of, um, we, we often hear people talking about politicians having a roadmap and so on, um, is, there, is there some sort of game plan you have at the back of your mind for several months down the road? Obviously, there's a game plan, but we do know that we will come uh, September, uh, our business begins to fall off again. And we really do need the, the spring right through the end of the summer to be able to build up a bank uh, to sort of survive through the winter months. That's November through the end of February. So I'll be honest with you, it's, uh, I can see, sadly, uh, some of our staff having to go, which I really hope not, uh, especially the furrow scheme stops because we mm. won't have the income. Um, I would also be very worried about uh, guests want to travel, stay in a hotel or come out and socialise. I can understand that because I really don't want to be uh, socialising among people who perhaps there's a virus in, mm. uh, among some of them. Who, who knows? We really don't know what's going to happen. Uh, uh, dark days indeed. Um... And, and you don't sound, understandably, you don't sound terribly optimistic. Is it something we're just going to literally have to swallow hard and, and wait and see what happens? We're definitely going to have to swallow hard. Obviously, I'm looking very, very closely at my finances and making sure that uh, we can keep the place mothballed. I know exactly what it costs to keep the place closed every month. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, we have been able to uh, furlough 36 of our staff, right. which means that at least they're, they're being kept, thank goodness. Uh, I really don't want to open up again and put staff uh, in, a, in the danger line. Mm. Uh, how does one operate a restaurant and a bar at social distancing? Do we throw the plates at them from two metres? Do we throw the pints at them from two metres? Wouldn't be very much fun, that, would it? <laughs> is, is there anything more, just finally, is there anything more, I wonder, that Stormont could or, or should be doing that you'd like to see them doing, Trevor? I think they really have to look at uh, the likes of the uh, hospitality businesses in the area uh, and the number of people that we employ. I mean, we are a big employer. 
in the area as well ourselves mm. and we want to be sure that our staff can survive throughout the winter time I want to retain our staff most of our staff have been with me now for maybe a good 10-12 years and I want to make sure that those people are kept right and can come back uh, at full steam whenever everything is settled and hopefully we'll have some sort of a vaccine or, or whatever to control yes. this virus yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's very frightening. Who would have thought, you know, New Year's Eve, when we're all hooking about and dancing, mm-hmm. and someone turned mm-hmm. around and said to you, you're going to be shot in the middle of March. We would have laughed at them. Dark times indeed, Trevor, uh, and, and I was hoping to maybe sort of finish on a, an optimistic note, perhaps, so we can maybe look and, and reflect that we live in, in what is a wonderful area, and fingers crossed we will be able and you will be able to build this all back up again. Oh, we're very, very fortunate. I mean, I know a lot of guests are just champing at the bit and they're phoning us up regularly wanting to know if they can book her. We have a number of guests come five or six times a year mm-hmm. and they can't wait to get back up again. But they obviously won't come unless we've got the full facilities going for mm-hmm. them. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're very fortunate. We live in a fantastic and beautiful area. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely lovely. Won't be so nice in the wintertime, mind you, but anyway, <laughs> we'll, get through, we'll Listen, get through it. If we get through this, as people say, Trevor, we'll hopefully get through uh, whatever else might come our way. But look, thank you for your time this morning. And here's the better days ahead, Trevor. They'll come, Dennis. Thank you very much. Cheers, Trevor. Thanks. Appreciate Bye-bye. that.